what is the truth and what's not. People are confused about it. They don't know. And the people at that rally who are cheering him on for saying, well, you know, they want to release these criminals. How does it, what lawmaker, what person in their right mind wants to release criminals? Who, what lawmaker, Democrat or Republican or otherwise, wants there to be more crime in this country? It just does not make any sense. It is promoting fear. It's fear mongering. It is fear mongering, and I'll tell you, I mean, I would answer the question this way. You tell me you got a bunch of murderers and, you know, drug mules who are coming in illegally and the wall will stop it, I'm all in. Great. Build the physical barriers. You want to tell me that the problem down there is that? You're a liar mm. because the problem is kids. And that's what you hear from his officials that he put in place. Mm -hmm. And he didn't deal with it because it doesn't sell, Don. Mm -hmm. Fear and anger sell in politics. He knew it during the election. He carried through on it with the wall. That's great. You got the wall. He should have done this, too. He wrote about it in his emergency declaration. He didn't deliver on it. This is on him. He is they. The people who he says are going to let people go, that's him. Those are his people doing what they have to under his watch. It's, it's, it's tough listening to some of those sound bites. You know, I had, um, I, I listened to it because I have to, but there's so much propaganda and so many lies and to... We would spend, if we, let's just say that we ran that whole thing, we would spend more time than the president actually spoke for an hour and whatever, just doing the fact checks, just correcting what he said, just explaining what he said or what he uh, well, That's why his friends want the standard of behavior to be a felony or it's fine. Mm. That's why they're jumping up and down. If there's no crime, it's okay. Move on. Yeah. Because that's what they're dealing with. That's why they it, want the summary. I mean, think about this. What, uh, the Star Report, this was 300 and some sure. odd pages, they said. The Star Report was 445 pages. Yep. The Star Report came out, to my knowledge, and we were both around then and lived, and lived it, uh, in, uh, on a Wednesday. You know when the public had the Star Report? Minus the, you know, the underlying, right. all the evidence and, and sources and methods. On a Friday, yeah. two days later. Look, I'll give, them, I'll give them the grand jury. I don't see the exigency of tomorrow, you know, yeah. of needing it. But you got to get it as soon as you can get it. Right. They may slow walk it for mm -hmm. good and bad reason. Good reason takes time. Uh, you don't want to get a judge sideways on what they process or what they mm -hmm. don't. And the bad reason is they want to slow walk it because they like this victory. And they know mm -hmm. there are bad things coming their way in that. How do they know? Barr told us. Yeah. Mueller couldn't make a call on obstruction. That means there has to be evidence of wrongdoing that he was worried about. Yeah. That has to be true on even with Russian interference. It has to be true with counterintelligence. There has to be wrongdoing. Did it rise to the level of a crime? Obviously not, at least on one count. You know who else said that? The very smart and articulate judge on Fox News, Judge Napolitano, said mm. the same thing. Italians, so. very savvy. <laughs> uh, you cannot want Transparency. We want the president. We want transparency, and someone needs to investigate the Smollett case and the people in Chicago. But you can't, and then not want transparency when it comes to the Mueller report. Sure, you can. It's called politics. Well, yeah. That's why people are sick of it, and they're <laughs> okay with just about anything. Yeah. Because they expect nothing, and they're never disappointed. Mr. Cuomo, Mr. Last Night. I hope you tuned in. I didn't I'll miss you. you. I watched you. I thought you did a good job. I thought it was Great robust. Job. I thought it was exactly what a town hall is supposed to be about. Yeah. I was happy to carry the load for you afterwards. You deserved the rest. Thank you. It was good because people get to hear directly from the candidate and their questions, I think, are always better than ours because they talk about what's important oh, yeah. to them. Yeah, because there's no guesswork. Yeah. This is actually their lives. But boy, did Booker make you look small. <laughs> Tiny. Little Don. Yeah, yeah. I know. Little Don. That's going to be my <laughs> new nickname.